Hello my lovely fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is Debs and this is your reading for Friday the 7th of January 2022. How is everyone? Uh, hopefully you're okay. You have made it through the first week of January. You're heading to the weekend. Let's see what this TGIF reading brings you. Now, I feel that fire sign, you're feeling a lot more optimistic. I'm getting a light, quite excited energy. I don't know whether it's because 2021 is out of the way. You're now looking at the future. And for some of you, you're deciding to reach out and be far more social at this point of time. I'm also getting um, a little bit of nostalgia kicking in. Maybe thinking back at past relationships, maybe learning lessons, maybe healing heartbreak, okay? But you're definitely thinking about the new. You're a lot more optimistic. All right, guys, let's delve in and see where this reading takes us. I'm using the Tarot of Dreams by Cyril Marchetti, and I would, of course, be clarifying with a gilded tarot as normal. Thank you for time stamping. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Much appreciated. All right, here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF love reading for my fire signs. Aries Leo Sag. This is Friday, the 7th of January, 2022. What do we have for my fire signs, Michael? Thank you. And who do we have with us joining us? Cards are being awkward. Interesting. I'm hearing, do they feel the same way? Okay. All right, Michael, thank you. Archangel Uriel, Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Azriel. Thank you. I'm hearing, I'm hearing taking a different approach. Taking a different approach. Okay. Whatever that means, let's have a look. This is your energy. Yeah, you're feeling lighter in yourself. This is your person's energy. All right. Psychic Tarot, John Holland. Yeah, you're, you're just feeling lighter, somehow lighter. Cutting away from the past... So even if you're wanting to reunite with someone or someone's coming back to you, it's kind of, can we just let that go? Can we just forget that happened? Because the energy coming through is one of balance. Someone who wants balance. Thank you, Michael. Okay. Yeah, balance. All right, guys. White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages, Volume 2. Here we go. All right. That wants to come out. Okay, we have another two. There we go. All right, people. Are you ready? Should we delve in? Let's have a look first of all at your energy. This is basically going to tell me what's on your mind and what's in your heart right now. Okay? Faith. Faith. This can represent the energy of the Hierophant. So this could be Taurus, but fire sign that you are manifesting a situation, a connection. You're hoping and praying is what I'm getting, that this is going to work out for you. This is going to be successful. You may also be delving into your spirituality, maybe far more than you were before. This could be somebody realizing they are being shifted onto a divine path. And this is you meditating on this new energy. It's rather beautiful. Okay. Eight of Swords. Now, with this card coming through, it makes me feel that the Faith card may be you hoping and praying for something to happen to get you out of your head. Because if you look at this man, I mean, there can be, yes, a deep reverence coming through with this energy. Strong connection to himself, divine source, the angels, the archangels. But this is also someone that looks a little bit stressed, a little bit worried. Is it going to work out for me? Is it going to happen? Because we have the Eight of Swords. 
Now that's fear, stress. So for some of you, you are trying to remain hopeful, although you're slightly concerned that whatever this is, it's not going to work out in your favour. Page of Swords. So fire sign, you're in your head about either delivering a message of truth, which could be difficult for someone to hear, or you are trying to have faith in a situation that is stressing you out. It could be that you received a message of truth that was painful for you to hear and you're in your head about it, but you still are hanging on to that faith and hope that things are going to work out. Very interesting energy. All right, guys, let's have a look at your person. Wow. Okay. The Seven of Swords. Now, it could be that your person has done something and you're finding out about it. You're trying to remain hopeful that maybe it's not going to cause the whole situation to crash. Or it could be that your person is going through a very difficult time. They may be trying to escape a situation. But if you look at this energy, this shows someone who is fearful of things that are hidden, not someone who may be sitting themselves in any lies or deceit. They're nervous, they're gonna be taken advantage of. This is someone who looks as if they're afraid of the dark. Okay, we've got this creepy hand coming through. This imagery is amazing. We've got the moon hidden behind that tree. It's almost as if the swords are also hidden in the trunk of that tree. Is someone being deceptive or not? Can I trust this person? I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I'm scared of what I can't see because it's dark. There are things that are hidden. This is somebody feeling jittery, nervous, can't sleep at night. So this is someone who is afraid of what they cannot see. They may be assuming something's going on that they are not comfortable with or assuming they are simply going to get their heart broken because you may not be honest. But that's their assumption. All right. King of Wands. This is someone who takes action. This is somebody who on the outside is solid, stable, reliable. They don't sit on their laurels. They get on and do things, right? They take action. This is someone with a strong sense of confidence. Now, either this person is sitting in the Seven of Swords, thinking about something that might have transpired in their life. So behind this mask of the King of Wands, a lot of confidence. This is a regal energy. This man is wearing a crown. He's driven, he's passionate, he's responsible. Behind that is a deep-seated fear of being taken advantage of. Now, if not, you may have passed a message to this King of Wands and praying that you're going to get the response that you want, but you're stuck in your head up until you hear that response. Four of Coins. This is someone who is extremely nervous. They're hanging on to their finances. This is someone who may be quietly hanging on to you, but there's a lot of nervous energy coming from them. Okay. Very interesting energy for you guys for this week. Let's have a look at Psychic Tarot. Prosperity begins. It's on their side. This is someone who is building up their financial foundation. I feel this is someone, fire sign, who's been through quite a lot. They could have been taken advantage of before in the past, and they're really worried that someone's going to take advantage of them again. Despite this person's outward appearance, inside, this is somebody who might have been broken before by somebody else, lied to, deceived. And it may be why they are hanging on to their money. 
Maybe this is somebody who was a karmic partner who used them for their financial security. And they are trying to rebuild their finances, but they are extremely nervous about moving forward with anyone new. Now, if this is somebody you want to get to know, Fire Sign, this is you potentially with a page of swords reaching out a very simple message. It could be an introductory message. Hey, how are you? If you already know this person, this is you saying, why don't we meet up? Why don't we catch up? But you're very worried that their response will be no. Because even though I feel they're hanging on to you, this is someone extremely guarded. And you may be hoping and praying that they will release that guarded energy, that suspicious side of their nature and give you a chance. Energy between the two of you, spiritual strength. There is a connection that the divine recognizes is powerful between the two of you. You two may have had numerous past lives and the divine is saying, hang in there. Hang in there. We've got your back. We're trying to bring you together, but both of you are really nervous right now that this is not gonna work. Triumphant success. Fire sign, you've got a lot of swords energy on your side. There's a lot of thinking going on, a lot of praying, a lot of manifestation. But we do have success on your side and we have prosperity begins on their side. You're both sitting in the energy of a new start and in between both of you is the divine trying to balance out your energies. I feel that what is coming through is you want truth about how this person feels. And they are nervous about their financial security. They're thinking about a new start with you, but they are worried that maybe they don't have enough money. Maybe this is purely insecurity. Or maybe they were sat in the Seven of Swords in the past and they didn't behave with integrity and they're nervous that you won't accept them. Fear and doubt on both sides. But I feel this is two people that the divine is trying to nudge together to say, it's okay, you're nervous. One of you definitely didn't behave the right way in the past. This is someone who I feel is wanting a second chance with the other person, but there's fears on both sides. Possible deception in the past, suspicions, and a lack of clarity. So fire sign, you are going to be reaching out because you want clarity. How does this person really feel about me? And I feel this person is going to reach out to you, but they're going to wear a false mask. They may seem to be extremely confident, but underneath all that, and even though they're hanging on to you, this is someone desperately nervous because they may not have a strong financial foundation. They may be feeling insecure, although on the outside, they're not going to show it. Should we delve in, guys? Let's delve in. And we're starting off with Leo. Leo, what have you got on your mind, my beautiful Leos? What have you got on your mind? Leo, you are wanting to bring someone back into your life. You just want to cut away from the past. I'm just getting that sword energy. I mean, this is, let's start again. Wipe the slate clean. Let's forget what happened in the past. Yeah, you're wanting a passionate new start with someone here, Leo. Someone that you're extremely attracted to. That you have been unable to get off your mind. That's what I'm getting. And I think you're going to take action because you believe this is your person. But I think you're going to be speaking your truth, which is that even though you want this, you may worry that it's not a balanced connection somehow. It may be that one person is much more confident than the other. One person has a great job and the other one is on the breadline. There's something here that's slightly unbalanced, which is unnerving you, but you're still going to go for it, Leo. Wow, strong energy. 
you're still going to go for it. Cars are flying. You're going to be travelling to see someone, Leo. Now, it could be to voice your fears. I'm worried about this. Is this going to work? Are we managing? Are we, will we manage to balance the situation out? Because you really want this. Yeah, I'm getting a strong pull back from the past. You really want this. But you're nervous it's not going to happen for you. Leo. Leo. You've been unable to get this person off your mind. Leo, I am connecting with a masculine. Yeah. Yeah, Michael's saying I'm connecting with a masculine energy. Okay. Leo, you want to mend a situation with someone to heal it. And I think you're going to be communicating. But you're really worried that this person is going to say no. You're ready, though. I'm just feeling you're ready, Leo. I don't know what you're ready for. Let's have a look. <laughs> Five of Pentacles in reverse, ready to come out of feeling alone. You've missed this person. This is someone that you seem to not be able to get off your mind. Yeah. For some of you, you're definitely improving your finances too. Eight of Swords, very interesting. We've got the Eight of Swords twice. So this is definitely your energy, Leo. Could be very relevant for you, Leos, for this week. Yeah, five of wands in reverse. You come out of inner conflict. You don't want any drama. Now, if there were arguments with this person, you want to just let the dust settle, Leo. Eight of wands, passionate new star. Why do I feel, Leo, you're connecting as a masculine with a female fire sign? I think this is your person. Queen of wands. Yeah. Leo, I think you're coming through as the king of pentacles. Sorry, guys, it sounds strange, but that's a channeled message I'm getting through. You could have a lot of earth in your chart, Leo. You want to commit to this queen of wands. Now, this could be a cycle that you didn't want to end. I think you're going back to someone. Yeah, look at that. King and queen of wands. That is a lovely energy. You want to take action. You want to take action and bring this person into your life, Leo. Now, be careful because there could be somebody else that is also wanting to be with your person. So whoever you're moving towards, Leo, wanting a second chance, there could be somebody in competition with you. Page of Swords, there is going to be a very straight message of truth. Again, Page of Swords. That you were heartbroken about a situation and you are wanting to mend it. You're saying to this person, Leo, seven of cups in reverse, you're letting go of any other option or any other options you may have had. And with the ace of pentacles, you want to commit. This is a big thing for you because you might have felt in a very unjust situation in the past. Maybe you couldn't be with this person for whatever reason. Justice in reverse is also feeling a little bit unbalanced. You are moving forward towards this person. You're going to speak the truth, possibly to a Pisces. You want the reality of how they feel. It may be you just don't know how they feel, Leo. So you haven't taken action up until this point of time. You want to know the truth. So I think you're actually going to travel to see this person to have a talk about moving into a new cycle because you want them back, Leo. Six of Cups. Yeah, you're going to be moving towards this person with a little message. This is turning up with a gift. You're saying to them, I've never been able to forget you. I've never been able to move on from you. And you want to heal this. You could be connecting to an Aquarius. The star is having hope for the future. This is healing between two people, balancing the yin and the yang energies under this wheel of destiny. This is your person, Leo. You know it. You're moving forward. There's going to be a lot of communication. My goodness. And an offer of commitment. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. You may say to this person, you need a little bit of time for you two to develop the connection, to get to know each other. But I think, Leo, you're moving back towards someone that you've never been able to, to totally detach from. It's going to be very surprising for them. 
and they may have a choice between you and somebody else. So just be aware of that. But this is you needing to figure out if they are still interested. And once you know that for sure, I think for you, it's game on because this is the star. I want to heal this eight of wands. I want us to talk. I want us to connect. I want to travel to see you if that's relevant. Nine of Pentacles, I'm serious. So Leo, in the nicest sense, if you were sitting on the fence before or you felt stuck and tied down to a situation out of your control, you're communicating with this person to figure out if they still have feelings for you. And if they do, then I feel you're going to go for this. But just be aware that your person has somebody else that is very interested in them that they are also considering. So in many ways, Leo, if you are interested in this person, you need to get a move on. Because if you're sat in the Knight of Pentacles, that's the slowest moving Knight of the deck. You may miss the boat with this person. They may head off with somebody else. I mean, there's an earth sign here who is right next to them. Okay. Now, of course, you could be embodying both of those king cards, which is a beautiful energy. The king of pentacles and the king of wands. That's strength. That's financial security. That is, yes, I'm ready. I'm grounded. I want a relationship. I'm not messing around. And the king of wands takes action. He actually does it. So it could be you sitting in both of those energies. All right, people, let's move on. And I'm hearing Aries. My beautiful Aries. What's going on, Aries? Oh, oh cars are flying. Aries. Mm. Oh, Aries, why do I get really up and down energy from you? I'm also hearing Leo. Oh, Aries. Are you in love with someone but you don't know what to do? Oh, okay. Are you in love with somebody who's with somebody else? Okay. Let's just see. I'm feeling a little bit of a heaviness. You're trying to be optimistic, but there is a heaviness. Yeah. There it is. Aries, I think you're trying to get out of a situation. I think you want to move towards someone. And you may find that people are blocking you. And you you don't know what to do. Do I push for this? Do I go for this? Aries, I think you want to move towards someone. But the problem is, is that you are in a situation with somebody else. <laughs> I'm seeing a man come out of his house. He's getting in his car. He's turning on the engine. He's going to the top of the drive. And then he's sitting, sitting there sighing. Oh, no, I can't do it. Turning off the engine, going back into the house. He's doing it two or three times. Aries, you're really wanting to talk to someone. You're wanting to see someone. You're wanting to figure out how they feel, okay? Before you take charge of a situation you're in. Yeah, Michael's saying that's right. Okay. Sorry, people. We are dealing with a masculine energy. I've got the vision of a man. Now, you could be the Aries of the party, Either the karmic partner or the person that this Aries man wants to be with coming through in this reading. Take it as it resonates, guys. I think you're ready to blow things up or I think the divine is going to blow up a situation that you have been ref oh, refusing to leave. Oh, Aries, refusing to leave. Yeah, because I think the divine knows that you are supposed to be with this person, yeah. Mm, what's that supposed to flip out? Okay. You're moving towards your person, Aries, yeah. 
very strong energy. Goodness, guys. Let's just have a look, people. Oh, the devil. Okay. Now, you could, Aries, be in a toxic situation with a Capricorn. Look at this. It's half the deck. My goodness. All right. Now, you may be connected to a Capricorn or a Pisces, or you're feeling stuck in a toxic situation and very emotionally unbalanced. You're holding yourself back, potentially from a Capricorn, a Pisces, or a Leo. And with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, this is you. But some of you, Aries, this is you not really wanting to face divorce. Maybe you don't have the money to get out of a situation. Or maybe you're only planning on giving a little bit to someone because with the lover's energy, you have a choice between two people. Aries, you could be wanting to get back in touch with someone that you want to be with before taking control of a long-term situation to see if they're interested. As in, you know, if this person that I've got on my mind that you may be a bit obsessed about, stuck on, has feelings for me, then I will take control of my situation and end it to be with that person. Okay? So we've got a message of passion that you are sending someone. Could be a Gemini, but you're highly stressed because you know you're in a situation with someone else, Aries. And with the Knight of Wands in reverse, you're either feeling stuck and held back or you're planning on moving towards someone, maybe to start an affair. And with the King of Swords in reverse, not tell someone the truth. But I feel with the moon in the reverse, the truth is going to come out somehow, Aries. And with the Seven of Wands, you may be trying to prevent people from having a go at you. This is you defending yourself because you're trying to make a decision. You may have a decision between a Capricorn, a Pisces, a Leo or a Gemini. We've got Cancer here too. With the Queen of Pentacles, I think, Aries, you're trying to make a decision between someone you're already with or moving forward to someone that you feel more of a connection to. The chariot again, Cancerian energy, but the chariot in the reverse is you moving on potentially from a karmic partner. I mean, there's a lot of guilt here, Aries, because maybe you're not saying anything. Yeah, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of burden, sleepless nights, because you are hiding the fact that you're wanting to be with somebody else from a karmic partner. And I feel that what you're trying to do is figure out if the other person that you want to be with has the same feelings as you. And if they do, then it could be that you decide to leave your karmic partner to be with that woman. You're burdened because you may have stepped out of your relationship before and you're nervous about doing it again. And it may simply be areas you don't want to be found out, right? You don't want there to be arguments and drama. Uh, the fall in reverse, you can't take a leap of faith and a risk. Maybe towards somebody who's sitting in the Nine of Pentacles who makes you very happy. This is Leo energy. Or maybe you are refusing to do it. Maybe you are continually sitting on the fence, not taking action. You want to be with somebody. You want to move towards them, but you are refusing to leave a karmic partner. You're still trying to make a decision. Aries, you may have been in this situation for a long time. And I think, to be honest, I think the divine is coming in to blow the situation up. I think they are fed up with you sitting on the fence, not taking action, not being happy, not going for your true heart's desire. And I think they're stepping in. The sun is enlightenment. They know you want to move forward and be happy, but you're refusing to make a decision about another situation. So I think they're blowing up your karmic partnership. Look at that. The tower and the judgment. Yeah, this is a divine saying no more Aries, no more. You've been desperately unhappy in a long term situation with the eight of pentacles. You know who your soulmate is, Aries. We want you to be with this person. So I'm afraid we're bringing in the tower. 
We're forcing you to end a situation you've been in and to accept that pain. We want you to move into a new cycle. So Aries, I think there's going to be an apology to the karmic partner. Yes, could be a Taurus. And you may say, I'm sorry. The Hierophant in reverse is we're going through divorce. We're divorcing. Now, who knows? It could be that if the divine is blowing this up, it could be that your partner finds out you might still be in love with someone or you might have met someone you want to be with. And they say to you, Aries, I know what you've done in the past and I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry, I am ending your relationship. However, the divine chooses to end the situation, it may be out of your hands. Ten of cups in reverse. Yeah. And so with the eight of cups, you're walking forward towards your person. And I think the divine has had a hand in this, Aries. Because you refuse to take action. So something's going to happen, Aries. Now, either you get found out of having an affair or maybe you find out your partner's having an affair and she falls in love with someone and she calls divorce. Whatever happens here, the divine has a part in it, but it does set you free, Aries. Sets you free. Okay? Yeah? Now, my Sag. What is going on for my beautiful Sagittarians, Michael? What is going on for my Sagittarians? Oh, wow. Really? Line out the deck. Okay. Sag, you may have been dating various people. I think you've been hanging on to one particular person and you're wanting to come back together with them. Yeah. You're thinking about someone that you knew that you definitely want to build a connection with. You're trying to remain positive about this, Sag. You want to take action on this. I think you're moving towards someone with a lot of love. And I think this is someone who's going to open up to you and express that they are ready to. Sag, I think you're going to open your heart and talk to somebody about a relationship, starting a relationship. And I believe this person is ready. You may be quite surprised, Sag. I think this is someone who's been keeping an eye on you. Maybe whilst you were dating other people. And they're ready. I keep hearing they're ready. They're ready. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see what's going on here, guys. All right. Okay. Nine of Cups in reverse. Sand. You could have been very heartbroken about a situation. Or maybe you were just playing the field, but it wasn't really giving you a lot of happiness. Because I think your, your heart is filled with love for someone else. Four of Cups in reverse. You want... To accept love from someone that you knew in the past. You want to heal the connection with someone, Sag. This is your energy. The angels, I think, are bringing the two of you together. Four of Pentacles. You're a little bit nervous. You're still hanging on to the hope of being with this person. You've got a lot of questions here with the Queen of Swords, Sag. You want to know the truth. Three of Cups. Is this person still dating? Is this person ready to commit? Because you are ready. Three of Wands. You're waiting for your ships to come in. Someone here, Sagittarius. Ace of Cups. You're wanting this love. You may have blocked someone. If so, you're going to be opening up communication again. Or you're wanting to make a decision based on how you feel. And that is with the Three of Pentacles. That you want to work on a situation with someone that you feel is your forever person. The Emperor. Now, this could simply be an Aries, or this is someone that you feel you want to be with. I mean, you've met your person, Sag. This is your future partner, right? This is who you want to be with. The Five of Cups in reverse, you're trying to stay optimistic. You may have felt heartbroken about a situation, 
maybe they weren't ready, maybe you weren't ready, but now you're picking up that sword. You're determined. You don't want to sit in heartbreak anymore. Yeah, you're determined. You're moving forward, Sarge. You're going to be expressing your feelings with the Knight of Cups. Oh, potentially to a Virgo who may be coming out of feeling very on their own, very sad, very down without you. Yeah, you're manifesting this, Sag. You want this magician, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. You are manifesting this person into your life. Queen of Cups. Now, Sag, I think with the Queen of Cups, you are embodying that energy and you're moving forward towards someone to express that you have feelings. Four of Wands. This is someone you want to live with. This is someone you want to marry. My goodness. Ten of Pentacles. Victory and success. A beautiful, stable connection. Both of you could be doing well in your careers. Yeah. Emperor and the Empress. Sag, I think you are ready, embodying the energy of the Empress. With the Queen of Cups, you do have an open heart, but with the Queen of Swords, you've been hurt before. You're a bit suspicious, but I think you've met your person. You've been looking at the past and you've realised that this is your person. And I think this is someone that you're going to work very hard to open up to because I think you want this to go somewhere. There's definitely going to be strong communication here. You're manifesting this person back into your life, Sag, because I think you feel that you're ready and they're ready. Okay? Yeah. All right, guys. Sorry, the cards are slightly off the edge of the table. All right, let's have a look at White Rose Guidance. So, Michael, what do we have, please, initially for my Leos? Middle card. Leo, you are my favourite work of art. Now, it could be that someone here sees the other person as being slightly shallow. I've got to be honest. I mean, art is at face value. Or it could be that someone simply is a bit besotted. There could also be someone here who is intensely creative. But I think there's going to be a reaching out, a coming back together again, a wish come true. And two soulmates are coming back to be with each other. Lovely. Okay. All right. Aries. This one. Aries, I want you by my side. Someone is absolutely set on being with another person. Now, it could also be that Aries, you may have been in a situation where you've been dealing with a karmic partner who has held onto you tightly, absolutely not let you go, and you feel suffocated, and you also are in love with somebody else. So I think you're detaching from someone quite controlling. I want you by my side, right? to move towards someone that maybe you want by your side. Yeah. All right, Sag. You leave me breathless and without words. Oh, Sagittarius. Someone here is in love and is going towards somebody else. Beautiful. Now, it could be that both of you are sat on the fence. There could be distance between the two of you. But there is going to be an expression of love. And I feel that... You are successfully moving towards someone that you feel is your person, Saji. Uh-huh. And this is going to be long-term stability, victory and success. 11-11, right? Four of Wands. And we've got the Emperor and the Empress. This could be a twin flame connection coming back together again. It's a beautiful reading, guys. All right. I'm going to leave it there. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way. And I'll be back before you know it with your mid-January readings. See you then. Bye now.